everyone, it is Andre, and today I'm coming at you with this week's new releases. I am very, very, very excited because we have two exclusive arts. We have some really cool foil, a beautiful color of the week, some new journals, which we haven't had in a while. And also, I just want to let you know, I have been posting on Instagram stories some restocks, but we have restocked both the Doodle and the 15 millimeter and the matte label sampler grab bags. So definitely check those out. And if you're not following us on Instagram, definitely do so because I've also been trying to keep up with posting low stock. And also we do have a spring sale going on currently, which is on the homepage. There is a button for it and those items will be on sale for a couple more days. So definitely check those out to save a couple of bucks, but let's go ahead and start at the top like we normally do with the doodles. There is a pretty thick stack this week, so let's go ahead and get into them. So the first one here is a little Easter set. So this is 688, lots of cute bunnies and eggs in spring things. This is 689 and it is strawberries. This would be perfect to put with the January mystery from this year. The next one here, this is an exclusive design. This one is the unicorns. Also another exclusive design, a meeple. Love this for board games. Gonna be using these like crazy. A shield, another exclusive. I think the rest of them are. A salad bowl. A Eiffel Tower. A little dragon. So stinking cute. Dinosaurs diamonds or gems, crocs, this was a request, it had little bows put on them because I thought that would be cute, a couch, this was a request by Hannah, and then also some super cute little bears, and those are all of the new doodles for this week, and this will complete up to the 700 doodles, there's already two more that I have done that will be released in the next batch, we're keeping going, going strong on the doodle game, so that is 688 through 700. Then we have new scribblers for this week. This is number 35 and it comes in the normal six options and they are holding a super cute little package stack. Perfect for marking Happy Meal, shipping Happy Meal, all of the things. Then there is a new character for this week and it is Figment and I already did cheat and use one, but this is number 67 and I just think Figment, Figment, IRL or like animated, kind of scary. Figment, otherwise on graphics, super cute, love it. And like I said, I already used one. Let's go into the color of the week. The color of the week will be available Wednesday and Eastern through Sunday, and that will be your only chance to purchase it. And this is number 68, and this is a really gorgeous sparkly purple. I've been loving the sparklies. There's a couple suggestions that we had like pretty similar colors recently, so I might just do them sparkly version because the sparkly version is just in my opinion so much better I think that this is the last week with 12 sheets I think next week will mark the 13th sheet edition and then of course we do have the scribblers so the doodles are offered in a buy all option if you want to pick them up that way or you can pick them up a la carte and then these scribblers are offered individually a la carte as well and I am just obsessed I have six made of mine every single week and let me show you how cute my turned out they're adorable so those are the color of the week options then let's move in to the uh, underlay bougie boxes for this week this is the butterfly underlays and the only thing i have to mention before i forget is that these will not be available in lavender hollow we do have them in matte bronze and champagne lights but I guess I didn't order enough to have them a la carte for Lavender Hollow. So as of right now, they will only be available in Lavender Hollow in the bundle, the butterfly bundle. But these are perfect just to add a little pizzazz. You could put them with confetti, you could put them with sparkle, shimmer, twinkle, hearts, stars, moons, whatever you want to do. You can add them in to add some butterflies to your spread. So it will come in gold, silver, rose, hollow, sparkly hollow, champagne lights, and matte bronze, which would be so pretty with so many kits, like kind of like antique -y. Even like, I feel like the book mystery, I think with this kind of like bougie would just be like really pretty. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just really loving it. So those will be available Wednesday as well. Then for a foil bundle, and I'm very, very excited about this one because it is like 
I think something that y'all are going to really like. So this is a confetti bundle and this is in like a rose gold color. So I'm going to compare it to rose just so you can see the difference. And I have always been looking for in foil bundles. I feel like they always turned out too pink. But this is like more of that like true rose gold. And I'm trying to think. I might have some Hannah rose gold in here somewhere to compare it to. Because I don't really have much rose gold. But let me give a little look-see. But this is, in my opinion, pretty dang close. This is Hannah's rose gold. Pretty close to rose gold. This one's a little bit more like maybe coppery. This is like kind of older too. This is her, this is an older sheet, but this is like a newer sheet. So you can kind of see, I feel like they're pretty dang close. Pretty close. So if you have rose gold from other shops, I can't guarantee, there's just so many foils out there, y'all. I can't guarantee it's going to be the exact one, but in my opinion, this is a really nice, I'm going to see if I can show you compared to this. This is rose and this is the rose gold because it's not like copper, because I feel like a lot of like rose gold sometimes are coppery, but it's just like a really nice rose gold, in my opinion. So, very excited about this. I think this is going to be great just to have as a staple. I have a feeling this is going to be one that sells out pretty fast. You have the bougie, the icons, and the um, 15 millimeter headers, deco, date numbers, etc. I think this one might sell out pretty fast. I feel like a lot of them have in the confetti version too. But I think this is going to be a great staple and I might need to grab a couple extra at work when I'm there next. Then let's go through kits. So the first one is Swan. And this is a really, really pretty kit. I think that this is great for spring, summer, a spring, summer transition, a summer to fall transition. It's gorgeous. I love the scenes in this and also the food items and also the fashion options. And I also just love the swans. I think they're so pretty. But yeah, I just love the colors. You have like the kind of like a muted plum, the pinks and the blue. So, so pretty, so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like the notebook, but also not with like the boat and all these colors. Fashion option there. And then the freebie is a tall box, which is just like everything just seems very serene in this. For foil, I would probably do either silver if you wanted to keep it like kind of simple. You could do ice if you have it. You could do rose. You could do lavender hollow, hollow, um gold silver I think would look really pretty if you're like Andrea which one pick one I think that I would probably go with rose because I feel like this would be a really nice one with rose but also I think it I think the butterfly underlays would go really nice with this as well but I also think that it would be really nice with hollow because it would pull out those blues and then like see how it like hollow rainbows it kind of leans into those like yellows, oranges, and pinks that are in there. And also the same would go for Sparkly Hollow. But I think even like, I think this is one of the ones that I don't think any foil would really be bad with it. So it also comes in a mini kit. And let me show you the add-on options. So there is the label, label two, fashion one, fashion two, doodle, ombre, and functional. And that again is swan. Then the next two are exclusive arts, and I'm so excited. These are both pop culture inspired, and this one here is so fun because I think I'm going to use this in June. So pop culture summer is going to have like eras for me, and then June is all going to be like Nick type things because Nick's birthday is in December, so he doesn't really get a, a, a birthday kit because of Christmas. So I thought that would be fun for like Father's Day month. And also is that like his half birthday month? I think that works out right, right? Because it's 6, 12, yeah. I'm going to do all like kits that remind me of Nick. Surprisingly, there's a lot because I feel like almost all pop culture remind me of Nick. But this is Marty McFly and it is based off of Back to the Future, which, come on. I feel like y'all might have known this was coming because Hannah did release the BTTF overlays and I got them in matte, this is matte, matte silver, which is the color I'm going to use with this. Again, I feel like this is one that could go with a lot. There's obviously the matte silver. I feel like you could do matte bronze. I feel like you could even do the hollow. I think the hollow is actually really fun or like sparkly hollow, but you could also, if you wanted to keep it kind of more simple, you could do silver. This would be another one I feel like you could do like no foil and do like just the black bougie and it would look really cool as well. Or if you had like a really fun blue, that would be really cute. So this is called again, Marty McFly based on Back to the Future, which I don't mind Back to the Future. I 
like it for like nostalgic reasons I love these paper things they're so fun and these colors are really fun as well and they do give me kind of June vibes like old June color vibes I'm just obsessed and then the freebie in the ultimate and the mini is him performing at the is it the formal or the homecoming I don't remember one or the other and that is Marty McFly very excited about this y'all have been loving the pop culture kits oh so good also comes in a mini and then there is four add-ons for this one you have label doodle ombre and functional and that is marty mcfly again exclusive art so you won't find it anywhere else and then last but certainly not least i feel like y'all have been asking for this for a long time and i wanted it too because like uh, nostalgia so this one I'm sure you saw from the beginning and you were like peeking. It is Full House and I love Full House. I just grew up on Full House. There is also from Hannah Plana Hannah. There is the Tanner quotes and I got them in gold. I thought gold would be really fun for this. Obviously you could go more fun colored like pink. You could do silver. You could do rose. You could do hollow, sparkly hollow um you could do a bright color because you'll see there's a lot of like like lilac -y pinks ice would even be really pretty with this if you have it um but let's go ahead and open it up so again this is exclusive art so you won't find it anywhere else so you have the like living room scene and all of the fun characters there's more characters so just just wait there's the boxes which a lot of the pop culture ones have now lots of little deco i added some stars because there was a little bit of space in there these colors are just literally everything this is gonna be such a fun spread and i think that this is calling for august unless there's some kind of anniversary let me know this is calling for august you have aunt becky and kimmy I love these patterns. I think this would be fun with like a retro pattern. So I think I'm going to need to grab something from Hannah for that. But this is just so cute. And you have Steve. I wasn't like, Steve wasn't in the art set at first. But I was like, please, I need drawn a Steve because, and he's in the kitchen, of course. And then you have the house from the outside as the freebie and the ultimate and the mini. Um, also, have you been loving the fur background? I feel like it makes it look a little cleaner because my desk is, I need a new desk, TBH, because there's a lot of like scuffs in it. She's a couple years old and I sit at her every day and she's from Ikea, so she's, she's fragile. But, um, also have been like working on the website. There's a lot of cool little new features. You have to like go on the homepage, scroll down, play with that. Just, just, it's so fun. It's so satisfying. And I will change that up kind of often so that there's like something new. If you didn't see it, just go to the homepage. It's so fun. Also in um, collections. So if you go to like shop by and then you go to like weekly kits, there's cool new filters. Same thing with foils. So you could sort by all of the ones that have lavender hollow in stock. It's cool. It's fun. Check it out. So this is label one, two, and three. So lots of colors here. These are so fun. And I'm like, gold is good, but I also feel like hollow would have been a good one as well so i'm like do i change my mind i don't know then there's a lot of boxes extras for this one y'all a lot of boxes so we have this is uh like fat we'll call it like fashion or extra boxes one so you have the kitchen scene you have the girls and then you have the whole fam then you have this one here which has like the bedroom and then you have uncle jesse and michelle and comet and you have the doodle functional and ombre so that my friends is all the things for this week and i'm so excited let me know when you're going to be using these kits because maybe I'll be needing to twin with you a little bit. But I just think Pop Culture Summer is going to be so fun because honestly for me, there's not a lot of summer kits I like. Um, I just feel like sometimes they get a little boring. TBH, I'm not going to, I'm going to be real. There is one that's coming to mystery that it kind of gives me like end of August vibes, but also might just save it for next summer and still do end of august vibes and then there was the like play like the playtime play outside one that i'm going to use in may because may is close enough to summer but other than that i think i'm going to stick to pop culture summer and i think that's gonna be really fun to use a lot of pop culture kits because i was counting and i have more pop culture kits i want to use than there are weeks for them so there's that so i hope y'all like all of the releases this week i just have been in such a planning inspired mood don't for check don't for jack don't forget to check out hannah's shop because she has the back to the future overlays and also the tanner quote overlays i will try and remember to link her down below i'm really really bad at it but that is everything for this week i hope you like this week's new releases and i will talk to you on wednesday with the next video